Hi everyone, today's lesson is lesson 40, drawing and reading a circle or pie graph. So we've been collecting data for those survey questions we did a couple lessons ago. And we're going to show that information on two circle or pie graphs. So you'll make one circle graph to show the adult choices and another to show the children's choices. So circle graphs, of course, look like circles. Okay. When we draw a circle, we're going to divide the circle into equal pieces so that each piece shows what fractional part of the people chose each choice. So we surveyed 12 different adults. And if you remember, I asked the question about who liked what kind of ice cream. Okay, so that means I need to divide the circle into 12ths. And to do that, I need to divide it like a clock face. Okay, so starting at the middle, we're going to draw up to like 12 o'clock and to 6 o'clock, then to 3 and 9 o'clock, and we're going to go to each number. So this would be about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and then 3, and then 4, 5. And just do your best. It doesn't have to be exact. Just get it as close as possible. Because as you can see, I don't do so well either. Okay, so we're going to pretend all these pieces are the same width. Okay. All right. So, in our survey, let's say only four adults chose option A. And I'm going to show that as yellow on my chart. So I'm going to take my yellow pencil and color in four twelfths of this circle. So I've got, oops, make that bigger and like that. Okay, so we have one, two, three, Four, four twelfths. Okay, and of course it's yellow for that one. Okay, so two answered that they liked the second choice. And we're going to use red to show choice B. Okay, so that looks like that. And that's two twelfths. So this was four twelfths, and this was two twelfths. Okay, five people chose option C, and we're going to color that one in blue. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, color that in. And that's five twelfths. And then only one person liked option D, and we're going to put that in green. Okay, green. And that's one twelfth. Okay. So now we have a picture of what was which choice was the most popular and which one was the least popular. Sometimes people write one or two words in the parts of the circle or just outside to show what each color means. Okay, so we could say that the yellow was the cookies and cream. Now I just say cookies. The ye uh, the red. Let's say that was the vanilla. Okay, the blue was the chocolate. And the green was the Play-Doh flavor, okay? And that's how you make a circle or pie graph. Um, you will also be doing this for the children, and this is the page you have. So remember, just like before, you'll divide the circle to graph into 12 pieces, just as best as you can, okay? And then you would put your the answers you got for the children in here, and you'd color it. And that's it for this lesson. Good luck on your homework.